channel and uh, thank you for choosing to watch this video today we are going to perform a small experiment we are going to understand what is this used for clip on vibrations ni taggichadaniki ee handlebar weights ni vaartaru at the ends of your clip ons bar end dagara meenko bolt petti ikkada fix chesi they use this apparently for reducing your vibrations నేను ఈ ఈ లోపల ఏం చేశాను ఇవి నిజంగానే వైబ్రేషన్స్ తగ్గుస్తాయా ఏ తగ్గించవేమో లేదు ఇవి అంత ఉపయోగం లేదు కదా అని చెప్పి దీన్ని పీకేసి నేనేం చేశాను నేను ఒక వెరీ గుడ్ లుకింగ్ లివర్ ప్రొటెక్టర్ని ప్రింట్ చేసుకున్నాను ప్రింట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అ ప్రింటెడ్ పార్ట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ సంథింగ్ ఐ డిజైన్ ఆన్ మై ఓన్ అండ్ ప్రింటెడ్ ఆన్ మై కంప్యూటర్ ఆన్ మై త్రీ డి ప్రింటర్ ఓకే ఇది ఇక్కడ ఇది కూడా నేను ప్రింట్ చేసిందే this i printed and put there and uh, my brother was complaining that idi idi vaadu modu pettina appu nunchi my brother was complaining that vibrations koncham ekkuva there has been a slight increase in the amount of vibration so what we'll do today is we'll use an app on my mobile an accelerometer app a simple app that will measure your phone's movement and we'll try to figure out if this really works if this reduces vibrations or having this kind of a neat looking liver protector um, uh, will actually increase your vibrations so first what we'll do is we'll check the weights of these things uh, this is a bar and stock stock oem bar and this is weighing about 112 grams 112.38 grams not sure if you will to watch the led display in my camera this is 112 grams uh, now let me just put this on and the weight and we'll see how much it measures come on come on come on come on come on Ooh. yes so my custom printed um, liver protector is what i'm calling it that weighs 30.75 grams so this is 112 grams this is 30 grams this is about one fourth the weight of this ee baru idu inta baru undadam valla manaku actually vibration taggistunda leda anadi ee roju test so what we'll do is we'll use an app okay so the first test is without any bar end um idu emi lekunda without anything here not even the bar not the bar end or the liver protector i'll switch the engine on and then i'll just try to hold the phone like this and uh, i'll make some measurements and I'll then export that onto my laptop and uh, once i process all that data then we'll have some look at the results indaka bandi cold start chesi koncham warm up chesi unchanu so that we don't have an impact of cold start on the data and uh, let's see how it goes so in in start this now okay so looks like we are getting some very good data gattigane uh ugu dunatundi lot of vibration so let me stop measuring and then just go back to my measure up and then just make sure i get the angle okay this says the angle is 43 degrees just to make sure i have a uniform testing condition between all three different configurations i'm going to make a note of this angle so at minus 43 degrees uh, this is the first data set that i have let me export this uh, to a csv and uh, export okay this is with stock okay let's take it upstairs switch to my laptop for post processing of data okay so we are back to my laptop and uh, i had a chance to import the blank and the liver protector data so far uh, just for the purpose of video i'm going to show you how i'm importing the uh, the stock bar and uh, csv file so this is process the data let me take out the max min and uh, average values of x y and z and uh, then we'll take it from there we'll uh, come back for the results so in a bit all right so it's results time and 
well i'm actually pretty surprised with the results um so let's see if i can uh, get this right so the amplitude of the blank bar end seems to be the lowest uh, the 3d printed and the stock uh, bar end weight they seem to have a similar amplitude but uh, yeah but the interesting part is the frequency of the blank bar end is the highest so this frequency is not hertz this is uh, a frequency of uh, how many waves have passed through a given sample uh, i'll share a link to the spreadsheet uh, in the description so if you want to check out what i've done uh, please free to please please feel free uh, to click that link and uh, check what i have done you have formulas in uh, the formula bar and uh, yeah, all the references to where the data is. You have different tabs, stock bar and weight, lever protector, blank bar and stock bar and weight, lever protector, and different uh, analysis of uh, X, Y, and Z values together. And then there's a summary tab, so feel free to check the, uh, check the link in the description. So the point is, or rather the summary is, I would say that though the blank bar and has the lowest amplitude of them all, the frequency seems to be quite high the stock and the 3d printed parts have a similar frequency though the 3d printed parts seem to be uh, slightly bit over uh, the stock uh, bar end in terms of frequency uh, but the blank bar end has got the highest frequency that means when something is vibrating at a very high frequency it's obvious that you'll feel that vibration uh, onto your hands i apologies for um, apologies for all the um for my telugu um, language viewers I'm, I'm doing this in english because i want this video to reach um, a little bit more audience and not get restricted uh, to just my uh, my my native telugu speaking people so uh, let me also give the summary in telugu just for the purpose of um, uh, having that box checked మూడు మూడు కాన్ఫిగరేషన్స్ కంపేర్ చేసాము ఒకటి బ్లాంక్ బార్ అండ్ ఇంకోటి త్రీ డే ప్రింటెడ్ ఇంకోటి స్టాక్ బార్ అండ్ వెయిట్ నా సమ్మరీలో తెలిసింది ఏంటంటే బ్లాంక్ బార్ అండ్ కి హైయెస్ట్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఉంది వైబ్రేషన్ త్రీ డి ప్రింటెడ్ పార్ట్ కి స్టాక్ కి ఆల్మోస్ట్ సేమ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఉంది దో త్రీ డి ప్రింటెడ్ పార్ట్ కొంచెం ఎక్కువ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఉంది ఇది ఇంత ఎక్కువ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఉండేసరికి బ్లాంక్ బార్ అండ్ లో ఆబ్వియస్లీ చాలా వైబ్రేషన్ ఎక్కువ తెలుస్తుంది ఇప్పుడు త్రీ డి ప్రింటెడ్ పార్ట్ కి స్టాక్ కి వచ్చేసరికి ఏంటంటే త్రీ డి ప్రింటెడ్ పార్ట్ కొంచెం ఎక్కువ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఉండేసరికి నాకు తెలిసి మా వాడికి కొంచెం మా తమ్ముడికి ఎక్కువ వైబ్రేషన్ తెలుస్తున్నట్టుంది ప్లీజ్ కీప్ ఇన్ మైండ్ దట్ దీస్ ద డేటా దట్ వాజ్ ఎక్కువ హెడ్ వాజ్ అట్ ఐడియల్ కండిషన్ అట్ అరౌండ్ లెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ ఆర్పిఎం ఆఫ్ ది ఇంజిన్ సో యూ క్యాన్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ దట్ వెన్ యూ గో అట్ వెన్ యూ గో టు హైయర్ ఆర్పిఎంస్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ విల్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ గెట్ మ్యాగ్నిఫైడ్ సో దిస్ డిఫరెన్స్ దిస్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ um this difference of six magnitudes of frequency this might be getting magnified a little bit more when i'm riding at high rpm or my or when my brother is riding at high rpm so though the amplitude of my 3d printed part is low the frequency is a little bit high so uh, the takeaway for me is i should probably increase the weight of my 3d printed part a bit more and uh, still offer that lever protection the stock the stock bar and weight uh, it's obviously got its own um, uh, lowest frequency and uh, though the amplitude on, is on the higher side since the frequency of vibration is low i probably am not feeling that much um, but this is a very good design clue what i should be doing here is the stock the 3d printed uh, lever protected only weighed about 30 grams and the stock bar and uh, weight weighed about 120 grams so that was four times the weight four times the weight um, but still i'm getting very comparable results so if i make this um, 3d printed liver guard weight to about 40 or 50 grams add some weight to it then i'll probably match my uh, stock frequency and um, uh, amplitude so overall this is the result i'll probably go back to my uh, stock bar end for the for the left side for the clutch side uh but i'll still use the 3d printed lever guard for the uh for the brake side because that is that performs another extra protection function which is uh, quite important thank you